Here we have a pre-owned 2018 Nissan Murano. This one comes in the S trim level with all wheel drive and gun metallic. And then we have the charcoal zero gravity cloth seats. And the powertrain consists of a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6 made it to a CVT, giving us 260 horsepower, 240 pound feet of torque. Now as we come around to the front end here, we have our LED daytime running lights. And I believe these are LED swapped headlamps here. I don't think those are stock, but looks really nice. We have a few rock chips at the front here. This one just has a little over 71,000 miles. So decent shape for the year and the mileage. 18 inch wheels here. Now this one does have optional splash guards, but for the most part, this is pretty stock. We have passive keyless entry on the front. We have our power mirror controls here. It's left, right, and then middle. And we can adjust the power mirrors as we need to. Power door lock controls are here. Rear window lock. And then we have one touch automatic up and down front windows. And then we just have regular power windows for the back. And this S trim though, still like how they did the trim. Makes it look a little bit more expensive. Bottle holder, a little bit of storage. Gauge cluster brightness is here. You can hit this trip button to go between A, B, or the odometer and then hold it to reset your trips. And then traction control toggle there. Gas cap, hood, then we do have a foot pedal brake. And then here is our six-way manual driver's seat. But I will say, people have told me in the past how much they like the zero gravity seats. And I will say, I feel the same way after sitting in the ones in this Murano as well as a couple in the Versa and the Sentra. The older ones. But back seat room here is pretty good actually. Six foot three, longer legs. I have that seat up front adjusted for someone of my size. And my knees are just barely brushing the back of the seat here, which is actually pretty soft. So very impressed there. And we do get a USB A charge port here, rear AC vents, then a little storage pocket up here. And I do like that even in the S. We have a folding middle seat where we can put storage here and then two cup holders. That is pretty impressive. And then if you ever want to fold the seat down, pull that there and then they'll fold flat on the seat is up far enough and then pretty easy to just lock it back into place. And if you want to pull it again, you can actually recline it back. So that's pretty impressive as well, especially for the base trim level. The gas cap here. Now as we come around to the back, we do get LED tail lights. And a good look in my opinion, especially when these were new in 2018. Now with this one being the S, we don't have the power tailgate but I like that we have the hidden storage here. If I can get it back in there correctly, there we go. And then underneath here, spare tire. And then over here we have a 12 volt for the back too. And then you can even fold your seats flat from back here too. So an extremely practical SUV and this one's only $21,000 right now. And the more I'm getting to know this, the more I'm starting to think that this is a, a bargain because you get so much in this Murano and it's again, an, a practical SUV. But four-way manual seat here, storage in here, and then a lockable glove compartment there. Tons of space. People say that the CVTs are not reliable, but if you service them like you're supposed to, a lot of these last several hundred thousand miles. But over here we have that 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6. Might need to do something about that battery. But let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. And the tin actually looks good on this. I'm sure at night it's not too much fun but 
it looks good on the car. Now we do have the vinyl wrap steering wheel here. Again, with this being an S, we're not gonna get leather and heat and all that, but still feels nice. And it still looks just as good as the leather ones. Now over to the radio. Very impressed that we have navigation here. And the map is there. And you can type in a destination here. But nice system, graphics look good. And that's the home page there. And then you can use your SXM traffic. Somebody configured this pretty nicely because they usually don't look like this. But volume is here. You can tap that to mute. And then you have a scroll button here and then you can push it. And you can adjust your bass, treble, and then balance and fade on the fly there. Now for audio, we do get Bluetooth, AM, FM, XM, and then we have a CD player, and then we have USB ports as well that we can use. And then we do have a CD player, which is fantastic. But there you can put the SD card reader for the navigation. And then track list, radio station presets, you can go through there. Now we do have dual zone automatic climate controls, which is great to have in a base trim again. There's a lot that you get here, and I like that we can turn the dual mode on and off. Auto mode, you turn that on, you have to adjust fan speed to get that off, and then the mode here, that's what controls where the airflow is coming from, and you can cut the whole system off if you want to there. AC toggle, whether to close your vents off or not, and then defrosters there. There's a USB-A input, aux input, 12 volt. Hazards are here. And then for the shifter, pull the lever, reverse, neutral drive, and then come over here and you can manually shift, if you will, the res of the CBT. Storage here, cup holders. Center console cubby space is pretty, pretty good. And we have a removable tray there. There's a little light in there too. And then we have a 12 volt right in there. And there's a view of the back seat from up here. And I love that we have the premium dome lights too. I think those are LED. And then sunglasses holder here. Now over to the steering wheel, turn signals here, high beams, flash. All of the light controls are there. And you can just turn that knob there. And then to the right side of the steering wheel, we have our windshield wiper control. So one time, and then that's off, intermittent, low, high. We can adjust our intermittent, how fast it's moving there. And then we have our rear wiper here. And then you just pull back for rear wiper fluid, push up for front wiper fluid. And then voice recognition control is here, Bluetooth button, we can scroll through our track list of radio station presets here. And then we can go through our sources using this button, volume here. And then this is to go through the gauge cluster menus you can see all that. So tire pressure sensors are right there and then driving aids as well as the fuel economy. That's what I like to keep an eye on. And then cruise control is just standard cruise. So on, off, cancel, set, resume. And then push button start is here. Finally, here's a key fob with remote start. And next it's time to go ahead and take this Murano S out on the road for a quick test drive. So starting the test drive in this Murano S, the drive is nice. That's why a lot of people like them. They're just, they're simple to drive. They look good, nothing crazy to them. Now in terms of the power you get, these feel so quick because they have a CVT in them. And it makes it that much more aggressive, I guess, in that aspect. Let's give it some throttle here. I mean, very quick on its feet. And the ride, even after this 71,000 miles, is somewhat good. 
I definitely feel more in the steering wheel as opposed to the ride quality itself. So actually, the ride is pretty great. Now I'm feeling just a little bit of movement in the steering wheel. So this one with this kind of mileage might need an alignment. It is starting to get windy. I don't know if you can see up ahead of me, it's nothing but gray where it's about to come a storm. And that's why during the beginning of the video it's kind of windy, but for the most part, pretty tame on the interstate just cruising here. And you can see how the fuel economy changes due to how I'm driving. But people who buy these tend to like the looks more than anything, interior and exterior. And that's where this Murano shines, but it also just drives again. There's nothing fancy about it. It just goes. You don't have to worry about shift points, things of that nature. You just have acceleration, especially with a naturally aspirated V6. It's not going to feel slow. And now for those of you that might be scared of the mileage and well, I guess if you're scared of the CVT mostly, definitely recommend getting an extended warranty but again you'll have to keep this transmission maintained as the manufacturer specifies so that's one of the biggest reasons that CVTs go out specifically in the Nissans is people don't follow the scheduled maintenance so with that being said if you're going to take care of the transmission and go to the dealer like you're supposed to get it serviced or wherever you go to get your vehicle serviced you shouldn't have that big of an issue with the CVT long term but especially if you get a warranty, if you keep up with it and something does go wrong with it, you have that additional coverage if you would need to get a transmission replaced. But I see tons of Murano's out. There's one right there I just passed. I'm sure it has just as many, if not more miles than this one. These are pretty sturdy cars. Most people use them for commuting. I see a lot of working women that maybe drive 45 minutes to an hour for work five days a week that keep these love them actually my uh my girlfriend's mother has one of these so yeah she loves hers drives it to and from work five to six days a week doesn't have any issues out of it and just follows the scheduled maintenance and that's what you need to do pretty much with any vehicle that's why they have that but specifically with the cvts because they can be an expensive repair down the road it's not like a Toyota six-speed transmission where you can just ignore it but all in all for the money again if you keep this maintained I actually really like this s there's a platinum that I'm about to drive here soon as well and even though that has a lot more features it's more money but I actually I'm feeling these zero gravity seats more than I thought I would this one having the navigation on board is nice and then even though the seat's not power, that zero gravity feel makes it, it's hard to explain. Like it doesn't feel uncomfortable where I would expect it to be with just a traditional manual seat, not being able to find my perfect position. But especially with this powertrain, because it is a V6 and it's standard in the Murano's, save a little bit of money there because you're not having to pay more just to get the platinum trim because you need the bigger engine. They all have the same engine in them. And then having the dual zone automatic climate controls is nice as well. And then the remote starts a big deal. So for me, I definitely consider this a bargain. If you're in the market for something like this, definitely make sure you check out Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro's that they have. I'll leave a link below in the description. And it's an impressive SUV for the money, especially because it's cloth and it's supposed to be the base trim for 2018. But this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2018 Nissan Murano S all-wheel drive.